Okay, today we're going to learn how to graph a circle um, and learn about the equation of a circle. So one of the things that you need to do is you need to get yourself some grid paper because we're going to be graphing circles. Uh, this is a topic that you will also find in Algebra 2. So we're going to look at the equation of a circle. So the equation of a circle goes something like this. We have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Now we know that the center of a circle is h comma k. And the radius is r. So we're going to look at our first example here. So example number one. So example number one has the equation x minus 2 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 9. So if that is our equation, then we know that the center is 2 comma negative 3. So if you notice in the equation, um, it was x minus h, and so it gave us a positive h. If it's y minus k, it gives us a positive k. So x minus 2 gives us a positive 2. And y minus a negative 3 is the same as y plus 3, so negative 3 would be your y coordinate. Now your radius is always equal to, now this is our radius squared, so if r squared equals 9, square root it, and the r, then our radius is positive or negative 3. Now you can't have a negative radius, so we know it's going to be a positive 3. So this is where you take it, and now we are going to uh, draw our, our um, graph. And so looking at this, we know the center is, neg is 2 comma negative 3. So we're going to go to right 2, we're going to go down 1, 2, 3. We're going to draw a big old fat dot, and we're going to label it the center. Now. If your radius is 3, that means from that center point out, you're going to go up, 1, 2, 3, and then you're going to go right, 1, 2, 3, you're going to go down, 1, 2, 3, and then you're going to go left, 1, 2, 3, and then you're going to draw your circle, and you're going to make it as curved, so this doesn't look like a squarish circle. And that's your circle. So now, if we were, so that's the first objective that we want to be able to do. We want to be able to, given the equation, we want to be able to graph the circle. Okay? Another objective is we want to be able to, so that would be objective number one, one thing that we want to accomplish. Objective number two is to be able to write the equation given the center and radius. Now, sometimes that center and radius, you're looking at a graph and you're picking it off, and sometimes they're going to give it to you uh, like this. Um, if they tell us our center is negative 1 comma 0, and they tell us that our um, radius is equal to the square root of 2, and they ask you to write the equation, well, we go back to that first form. The first form says x minus h. Well, in our case, our h is negative 1, so we'd have x minus negative 1 squared plus, and then it's y minus k squared, so we'd have y minus 0 squared equals 
r squared. Well, our radius is the square root of 2, so we're going to square it. So our equation, if we clean it up a little bit, would be x plus 1 squared, or I got a plus there, plus y squared equals, now the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 4, which is just 2. And that's how we write the equation of a circle. Now, if they happen to give you another way that they could, they could ask you to write the equation, it would be uh, to write the equation, write equation given endpoints of a diameter. So, for example, if they were to give you the endpoint, a is 4 comma negative 7, and B is negative 6, 3. Well, they've given us the endpoints of the diameter. So, uh, you know, in a circle, they told us that this is a point and this is a point. They did not tell us the center and they didn't tell us the radius. However, you can use, uh, what would we use to find that, that center would be the center point between the two points on our diameter. So that center point would be our midpoint of that particular segment. So we could calculate to find the center, we could calculate, we would remember we were going to average x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2, we're going to average those. So we would have 4 plus negative 6, those are your x's over 2, comma, now you've got negative 7 and 3, so negative 7 plus 3 divided by 2. So we know our center, this gives us negative 2 divided by 2, which is negative 1, and then we have negative 4 divided by 2, which is negative 2. So my center is negative 1, negative 2. Now that's only part of my problem, though. I also need to come up with a radius. So you have a couple options. You could calculate the distance between these two points, that would be the whole thing, and divide it by two. Or you could calculate the distance between one of the endpoints and the center. So it's really your call, uh, but to find the radius, we're gonna use the distance formula. So remember, radius equals square root now, um, I think in this example, I'm going to go ahead and use this negative 1, negative 2, and my 4, 7. So negative 1, negative 2, that's my, rate, that's my midpoint or my center. We call it a center. And then I'm going to use my point A, 4, negative 7. So remember with distance formula, you're going to subtract your y's. So negative 2 minus negative 7 squared plus, and then subtract your x's, negative 1 minus 4 squared. So my radius is equal to, well, negative 2 minus negative 7 gives us 5, 5 squared is 25. Negative 1 minus 4 gives us negative 5, negative 5 squared is 25. So my radius is the square root of 50, or, remember 50 breaks into 25 and 2, 5 square roots of 2. Now, it's time to write our equation. We have all of our pieces. This is our center. That's our radius. And so we would have x. Now it's a negative, so it's going to become a plus 1 squared plus negative, or y plus 2 squared equals the square root of 50 squared, which is just 50. And so that's how we would write the equation of a circle.